Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering cash from problem set 1 in CS50, alright? So in this problem, the user is gonna input a change owed and then using the change owed, we are supposed to figure out the number of coins that we are supposed to give to the customer, alright? And we are supposed to do all of that calculation in our program. So, and then we are gonna use the greedy algorithm which means that we are gonna bite off one at a time so we're gonna bite off 25 cents first 10 cents next five cents next one cent after that so um let's begin all right so here we have our code in the very beginning we have some header files then we have function declarations and then we have our main code all right so so in this main code the first line is doing the job of asking the user what their change is right and an implementation detail that we have to take heed to is that if the user enters a value that is negative we want to reprompt the user like they mentioned here and then later on we want to first calculate the quarters because quarters are the biggest value and then calculate dimes and so on and then with accordance to the quarters that we have calculated we Reevaluate the number of cents that we are supposed to calculate later on. All right. So let me show you a quick illustration and demonstration of how I'm going to be implementing this code with a little drawing. All right. So here we have a whiteboard. So let's start simple uh, early on. So let's say we have twenty-five cents. All right. So twenty-five cents is gonna be one quarter let's say we have 50 cents 50 cents is gonna be two quarters and let's say we have 75 cents 75 cents is gonna be three quarters so if you guys noticed a pattern um, it's basically quarters represent 25 cents right so 25 divided by 25 is 1 20, uh, 50 divided by 25 is 2 75 divided by 25 is 3 and so on okay so this is gonna be the gist of how we're gonna solve it but you might ask how about if they don't perfectly divide so for example we have 30 divide by 25 and in this situation we have one point something right but in the end it's still one quarter right to return 30 cents we can only give one quarter at the very most and for um, for, for example 60 is gonna be um, two quarters at the very most and we are just going to be ignoring the decimal places because obviously we can't uh, cut our quarters into decimal places and let's say we have 99 so for 99 we can divide 99 uh, by 25 and it will be 3 point something something all right so that is how we are going to find out the number of quarters that we are supposed to give out to the user and if you noticed similarly for other values like for other coins like dimes nickels and pennies we can also use the same method we can divide the number of cents change by the value of the coin and then ignoring the decimal place we are gonna return the user that amount of coins so if you guys don't understand it um, maybe after I write down the code it will be a little clearer and if not maybe you guys can try drawing our flowchart and trying to understand uh, this problem set um, yourselves the solution yourselves all right so let's use this method to try to figure out so first we have quarters and we have to calculate the quarters with accordance to the sense that we are given by the user but before that let me um, complete this as uh, complete this function and I'm sure you guys should be fairly familiar with how to uh, do prompts um, after doing Mario and uh, the practice problems so I'm gonna I'm just gonna be quickly doing that portion so do while um, and uh, integer number of cents so number of cents is gonna be get int and let me close this get in change owed and this is where the user enters their change and here we want to reprompt the user as long as the number of cents is negative number so number of cents is less than zero right so we are done with get cents now we want to calculate the quarters and here 
let's use this visual example again so we are given the number of cents and we want to find the number of quarters so number of quarters is going to be cents divided by 25 okay and you might wonder like what are we going to do with the decimal places how are we going to remove the decimal places um, we actually don't have to think about that because uh, C programming has a feature called truncation which you guys uh, maybe can refresh your mind by watching this lecture here there's a chapter called truncation and here the philosophy is that if we are dividing an integer with an integer we will get back an integer all right so how are we gonna get back an integer we're just gonna ignore the decimal places so this quarters is gonna be an integer and not a float all right so here we can just return the number of quarters and so the same method is gonna be used for the later functions as well all right so after we calculate the number of quarters the quarter value will be subst subtracted from from the total change and then we are going to be calculating the dimes and so it's just the same thing again here all right so here i can just change the word to dimes return dimes and obviously dimes is um, 10 cents and here we want to uh, calculate nickels and uh, cents divide by five and return nickels and here we want to calculate pennies and here pennies and here it's gonna be one but there's a better way of implementing this and a more shorter way and a more you know better looking way and that is um, because the number of cents we have here divided by one is always going to return the number of cents so technically we can just um, pennies equals to cents and to make it even shorter we can just return cents here rather than you know having this line extra line here all right so yeah that's uh that and now it should work let me see if i'm missing any semicolons uh okay it looks fine so far so let me try to make cash okay <laughs> one error so um let's see what the error is return no sense oh <laughs> this wall oh my god okay so <laughs> um make cash what happened here a line 47 oh okay so here <laughs> we forgot to return a number of cents all right um yeah <laughs> wow okay so i made a mistake and i missed it and yeah uh, semicolon <laughs> um make cash uh, dot slash cash and let's see uh 99 is gonna return nine and yeah we got it okay awesome i uh, check 50 all right so it seems that we passed all the checks if you guys like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, comment down below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.